uh, more molestation than rape. And so then, you've been raped before too? And so then, what age? Well, it started out young, but... How old was the first time? My mom don't know, but the first time was really um, when I was... What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got a young lady out here today. How you doing today, miss? I'm hanging in there, bless. Okay, good, good. Um, are you homeless? In between. Okay, all right. Um, how old are you? I'm <laughs> about to be 40 um, on Saturday. 40? You look great. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And how long have you been in transition or homeless? Um, practically about three years. Three years? And what was it that happened, like I say, three years ago that made you go from having a roof over your head to the next night you was out on the street? I lost my job with uh, 2018. Well, really 2017. Why'd you lose your job? Because um, I had an issue at the job and I tried to talk to my employees at Kroger's in Midtown. And so you worked at Kroger's? Mm-hmm. I went and, and I lost my schooling with them because they didn't respect my schedule. And, uh, and what I was going for, I was going for medical assistance. And um, So I, basically you stopped going to school and it ended up losing the working job? Hard, no, working hard. After, after they did not respect my schedule back in 2015, they'd... Um, end up having me on like weird schedules and I end up falling asleep in class or either missing class and I'm usually a A, a, a B student, mostly A and it was medical school so and I was like almost finished with my classes when I started the job I get it, I mean we get it, long and short of it is that they wasn't allowing you to have the schedule you wanted and so, and I had children to take care of at the same time, how many kids do you have? I have four but I still take care of more you take care of more yeah okay. i have god children stepchildren even though i probably don't deal with the individuals that you know so let me ask i mean of your four biological kids four. um okay so how how old is the oldest how young is the youngest 23 is the oldest and 17 is the youngest okay and so were they all with the same father no i have oh. three different fathers okay so three different dads but four children the first one by his own, I don't really deal with him. That was when you were 17? No, that's when I was like 15, 16. How old was the father? He was a little bit, a uh, year older than me. So about the same age, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Then uh, my second one, got two of them between him, my middle children, the 20 year old and the 18 year old, a boy and a girl. Um, He's on child support, but the child support don't come regular. That's the only check I get. Here, let's start from the beginning. So where are you from? A Grady baby from here. All right, shout out ATL. Shout out all the Grady babies. Grady Memorial um, Hospital. Right, that's right. And so, you know, growing up here in Atlanta, would you say that, um, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? No, but I still had both of them in my life and they're still here today, I thank God. Okay, awesome, awesome. And so both of them still alive and uh, you, did you live with your mom? I stayed mostly with my mom and my dad came to visit, but my grandma was the one that um, rest her soul. She the one that mainly like mold me the woman that I am. Okay, okay. And so, do you have any brothers and sisters? I have a younger sister. How old is she? She is three years younger than me, uh, which is. Blue. Are you guys close? Were you guys close growing We're up? Close. It's just I haven't talked to her in a minute. Why is that? Both still on the phone and. And stuff like when was the last that. time you talked to her? A little bit of good minute. Um, the new year. <laughs> I talked to my mom more than her and, uh, you know, my son. Does your sister know that you're homeless? Yeah, I stayed with her and she stayed out there in Scott, Scott there. But then it's like it was the the drum I had to go through when they had the 19, the 19 thing going on, the riot and stuff. I had got kind of stuck down here even more because when I tried to get to her house ooh, the birds when I tried to get to her house they was throwing out the bombs what that is the pepper spray or bombs or something like that and I'm not I wasn't used to that in my own city and I know my ATL is we wouldn't tell up we wouldn't tear up our own city 
I get the, it, but I mean, Scottsdale is like 15 minutes away, so yeah. So I mean, it's, it's right. So, but she had my stuff, and she had a house to plumbing for a minute. But at the same time, I still was mostly out here. I get it. We don't want so, to so let me ask you this: Has there ever been any molestation? It has been uh, more molestation than. And so then, you've been raped before too. Tell then, what age? Well, it started out young, but how old was the first time? My mom don't know, but the first time was really um, when I was four or five years old by and my sister um, cousin. By your sister's cousin? Mm -hmm. Was this a sister that you had a different dad with? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We got the same mom, but a different dad. Okay, and. How old was he? He he was like eight years old or nine or something like that. He was just, he still was a little bit older than me. Did you and did you ever tell anybody? No, I said my mom. Or so she never knows to this day. So I mean, if she was to be watching this video on YouTube and to hear you say that, how what do you think she would feel? Maybe she would open up her eyes a little bit more or something like that. I still look after her, but when I was younger, we had a tough relationship. She always thought the opposite of me when I was actually like the good kid. It went up with me and my sister. And reality show, I started to take care of my sister at age six. My grandma got on her case to talk about like at the age seven. How you gonna leave them in the house by themselves? Locked up at Bowling Circle down here with Carl Holmes at. Let me at let me ask this. Let me ask this. Because I, I wanted to kind of, you know, drill a little deeper, so you say that you was molested at five. Was that penetration? Hmm? Okay, so that was your sister's cousin. He was eight and he penetrated you? Okay. Let me ask this. You say that your dad and your mom are still alive, right? Mm-hmm. My if dad used to be in the army. He was in the army? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so if he were to see this video on YouTube. He done begged me to come out free. But he done sat here and moved all the way to Covington, Georgia. And then he stayed with um, his wife. And at the same time, by him staying with his wife in Covington, Georgia, I wasn't really trying to move all the way to Covington, Georgia when I was already trying to get my stuff fixed in Atlanta, Georgia. And, and I mean, but that wouldn't be better than kind of staying out on the street? Now, if I got to go through the headache. What's the, what headache? My dad still chews his wife over me, and I'm his only child. That's the headache. How does that make you feel? We used to have the best relationship, and then when he got married and she, you know, like I said, you want me to come all the way over, out there, but when I stayed around the corner, you ain't coming visit me. I'm your only blood, your only child. So how do you, if you had to rank him as a dad growing up, one to 10, what number would you give him? A seven. Okay. A seven. Cause when he there, he there. But like I said, when he got married or whatever, it's just a whole another 360. You know, I'm like wow. We went through the struggle. Of my mom let me see you. My grandma and auntie sneaking me to come and meet you and stuff like that. Like I said, he was there, and it was a big gap. So when I stayed on Martin Luther King, when I was born and stayed on Martin Luther King, so when I was born, he, he he came from the army and he would come back. So when I was born, he came out the army and seen about me, whatever, da da da. And, and seen about me till like what, four years old? And then I ended up moving to, um, my mom ended up getting her apartment out here with Cobb Holmes at Bowling Circle. So when she got her apartment at Bowling Circle, I ain't see him again until I was like 11 and a half and turn 12. Mm. I could. How do you feel like that gap affected you growing up? It kind of hurt me. Kind of, or did it hurt a lot? It hurt a lot. So, if you could get in the time machine and you could go back to any age you ever was, okay? But in this time machine, you could only be in the past for 30 seconds, okay? And you could give yourself any advice, anything. What age would you go to? And what advice would you give yourself to possibly 
prevent you from being here right now? It wasn't about 10 years ago. 10 years Even though ago? I gave myself that advice, but... What would you have told yourself 10 years ago? <laughs> Can't trust everybody. <laughs> you can trust some people. Who specifically did you trust that you're thinking about in your head that kind I of... I trusted too many people. Who? Who was it specifically that really messed the situation up for you? The one person that really messed myself up in the beginning and which was 2019 of... Um, November, December was uh, a girl named Grace. And what happened with Grace? I asked her to put my phone on the charger and I did not know she was on Easter drugs. And um, she ended up putting my phone on the charger wherever. No, down there, Welcome House. We was up here at Gateway. Then when I asked for my phone and charger, oh, I don't know what you did with it. And so, I mean, basically just a lost phone. Yeah. Okay. And I that it was the beginning of my... Downfall. Downward spiral. For as I was already, like, trying to take care of some business. First time I came out here was... September. What do you mean trying to take care of some business? Not to really be stuck out here. Okay, trying to get straight, trying to yeah, get off the street. Especially when I had everything. Birth certificate, social security card, ID. And you lost all that stuff. They stole all the stuff. Okay. So, Miss, if anybody wanted to reach out and donate or help, do you have a cash app or anything like that? Uh, dollar sign, condo, um, 3072. Okay. All right. Well, Miss, and we appreciate you. Go ahead. What was you going to say? I was going to say my nickname is KK, but my real name is Kenyatta. Okay. Well, KK, Kenyatta, uh, we appreciate you taking the time, answering all of our questions. And we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, okay? Thank you for listening to my story. All right, have a good one, sweetie.